My father was a collector, not a pack rat, but a collector. He collected bits and bobs from old train parts to silver coins. He also collected ceramic knickknacks. He took great pleasure in showing us the ceramic Lipton tea collectible animals he found at swap meets and the like. He also collected Royal Dalton and Wedgwood. When he passed away, the family was looking for a home for his treasured Wedgwood pieces, and I was the savior. So began my interest in Wedgwood. This is my presentation, Jasper Ware by Wedgwood. Josiah Wedgwood was born 12th of July, 1730 in Staffordshire, England to a family of potters. He was the youngest of 11 children. At the age of nine, his father passed away and his training was left to his brother Thomas. Had it not been for the lingering effects of smallpox that weakened his right leg, which later had to be amputated, he might have fallen into oblivion and might only have become one of a thousand talented pot throwers. The amputation cut short his training. To add insult to injury, Thomas denied him a partnership in the family business. This was not to deter Josiah, and he gained insight into a larger picture. Josiah became a modeler, which is a ceramicist who is a designer who makes clay models of items to be produced. In his early 20s, Josiah began to study chemistry, trying to understand the science of fire, clay, and minerals, and was working to develop better clay, clays and glazes for ceramics. In 1769, Josiah Wedgwood opened Eturia Works, a ceramics factory in the district of Stoke-on-Trent, Staffordshire, England. This is where he created the infamous Jasper Ware in 1775. So what is Jasper Ware? Wedgwood interest in clay bodies led him to develop a fine, hard grain, dry body stoneware and eventually discovered a clay body hard enough to hold its shape but white enough to be considered delicate like porcelain. He was deathly afraid of industrial espionage and decided it was important to confuse potential competitors and had the ingredients he used ground in London then brought to Staffordshire in their powdered form. After many experiments with colored stains, Wedgwood had the greatest success with blue using cobalt oxide. He also made sage or sea green using chromium dioxide, lilac using manganese oxide, yellow from the salt of antimony, and black with iron oxide. He also made a white matte. The most common and best known is the pale blue that has become known as Wedgwood blue. These are an example of what Wedgwood is currently using. The detailed work on Jasper Ware is called Sprig. The delicate sprigs that are the defining feature of Jasper Ware were created via a successful experiment with barium sulfite. This produced a porcelain-like clay body that could be applied to clay surface at the leather hard stage. The sprigs that Wedgwood used for his product were designed by the neoclassical sculptor John Flaxman Jr., who began to supply Wedgwood with designs from 1775. Flaxman worked in wax when designing for Wedgwood, and some of his designs are still being used today. So why the name Jasper Ware? Jasper is a red rock aggregate with a delicate quartz inlay. This is my familial collection of Wedgwood. I was wondering how to find out how old they were since my family found them on eBay. I noticed the markings on the bottom and there I began my search. Jasper has been made continuously since 1775. However, he started marking his work in 1759 when he began marking his work with the Wedgwood name with printers movable type. The marks were often uneven and sometimes arced. It wasn't until 1769 he created the familial Wedgwood mark with a name impressed from a single slug. In 1860 to 1929 the Wedgwood factory started marking its wares with a date as part of a three-letter code. 
The first letter represents the manufacturer. The second letter identifies the potter who threw the shape. And the third letter signifies the year the piece was made, with 1860 as letter O and 1861 as letter P, and so on and so on. This represents the type of type and the design during specific years. These are the markings on my pieces. Jasper Ware is still being created today using not only the bygone designs, but also being created by ceramic current artists skilled in the field. Hitomi Hasano was Wedgwood's inaugural artist in residence program, and the focus was on the Wedgwood's iconic Jasper Ware. She studied ceramics at Katani Pottery in Kanzaawa City in Japan. The subject of her artwork are botanicals inspired by leaves and flowers which she studied from her garden. This is one of her current designs. This is another one of her current designs. I thought it might be interesting to research and try to replicate the clay bodies used by Wedgwood, but the actual recipes are still protected. Thank you for listening to my presentation.